In the last video, we created a modern website using a multi-purpose WordPress theme. It has all the features and it presents the content in a very clean and suitable manner. You can see the specific video on this website. I'm in demo website to understand the theme features that is available separately. But with this demo import and all activities, we got hundreds of media items. In the demo import, we got the complete website, 458 images and of course, it is obvious that we are not using all these images at our live website. So the live website using limited number of images, you can see limited number of pages. And it is very clear that 458 images are not being used. And by default, all these images remains available at our WordPress installation and no, no one takes care about this. What happens if we keep unused images at our website? So there is an, another video on this topic. You can watch that particular video as well. How to clean media unused media items. But yes, this is also on the same topic. This video is also on the same topic. How we can clean those images items, those images that we are not using and we are not intended to use and we don't even wish to have at our installation. But it came with the demo content. All these images are creating one file at our server and of course at our website and it is going to consume bandwidth and even in search results these images are uh, may come and the hot links with these images may be created by other sites so it is not good not a good idea not a good practice to keep unused images at your website but wordpress has this um, always comes free and like that in demo content we used to have multiple images I'll, and furthermore, I'll show you one more thing in the tools and the demo importers. I have already shown this thing. So we have separate selection of the demo website. I have yet not imported all the home pages, all the pre-made website at once. So we have imported only one pre-made website and all the pre-made websites, all the demo websites available separately with this theme. So as I said, you can see the theme overview video. And we just imported one, selective, selected one. And even after that, we got 450 80 images in the media. So this video is about how we can clean unused media items. And the plugin that we are going to use for this feature for this facility is called Media Cleaner. It is a very, very popular plugin. It is working since years and uh, you can say goodbye to useless files, not only media items. And you can simply clean your media library and upload directly from the files which are not used. So this is the purpose of this plugin that we are going to use and overview in this video and it is very simple to use and the good part is that it is available in the free so you can have the free one at the wordpress repository itself so it is available for free and it has got 70,000 plus installation already so you can have this free one sir and you can change the rest of details how it is going to help you like it is going to enhance the performance. It is going to be user friendly and the support is also available. And what is difference in the free and pro version? Like in the free version, you are going to get media library scan power for analysis. And in the pro version, you are going to get everything from the free version, of course, file system scan and the handle more plugins. So uh, it is really going to help us in maintaining the media library at our WordPress installation. So let us proceed. Uh, in this installation, we are going to check how it works, how we can do this activity. So I'm going to use this media cleaner 
pro version of WordPress theme. I know, sorry, I WordPress plugin for cleaning the media asset. And I'm going to add new plugin. So as I said, you can use the free as well. You can compare the free and the pro features uh, through the link given in the video description. I'm going to upload the pro one. So this is the plugin, the pro hand. I'm going to install it now. So after installation and activation, we are here at the dashboard of this plugin called Media Cleaner. And it is new apps and the Media Cleaner is here. And uh, I must tell you, this uh, plugin has been developed by the Meow apps. And you can get this plugin through the link. As I said, this plugin is available in the free and the pro version. And you can have all this uh, information. Okay, so let us check uh, what we can do this setup plugins, I believe. And we have performance, uh, file optimization time, so empty request time. Okay, just check. I had one request, two requests, okay. So the empty request time measures your installation basic performance by showing the average time needed to process an empty request on the server. To see how disab to see how disabling plugins and affects the result, turn off and run the test again. Aim for a time under 2000 milliseconds. Okay. So of course we can use the tools to understand the status, current status, and in this the tools uh, can help you in understanding the what actually you are going to do. Uh, further, we have the list of Meow apps. I mean, the list of the apps coming from the same developer like AI Engine, Photo Engine, Meow Gallery, and the Media Cleaner, Database Cleaner, and so multiple apps. You can explore the apps as well. Apps means plugins. So, okay. Here. Here, apps means plugin. Okay. So, you can have the PHP Info, PHP Error Logs, and further settings. Okay. So let us proceed to main objective uh, that is media cleaning activity uh, through this plugin that we can perform here. So if we check uh, the settings, I mean the filters available content, definitely we are going to scan the content and uh, check if the media entries are used by the content. I mean the if the media is attached to a post plugin and other post types like metadata widget CTC so it will scare all the things further we can restrict the plugin to scan only the images so images only like we if we are enabling this the system will scan only images or we can also put extra rules like attached images so continue consider as in use so uh, better, uh, it is a good idea to enable all these two functions as well. So I have yet not activated the license, so pro features are yet not available. Like I cannot perform the uh, file system scan until we are using the license. Uh, so you can activate the license in this tab. So I'm using the minimal features and let us scan this. Uh, the media item. So access media cleaners that. Okay. Okay, so I am running the empty request time. Similarly, we can uh, run the file operation time. So these are just the uh, tools, uh, performance tools. We can check all these things. And meanwhile, why I have also activated, I mean, use the license for showing you the optimal feature that is available with the plugin for cleaning the media assets and all. And now I'm taking you back to the screen called Media Cleaner. So uh, again, we can review the settings. Uh, I'm enabling the images only option, the attached images, the live content. However, we may check and the file system scan. So it, we may uh, check the media content and uh, media library content. Of course, we can enable the thumbnails only so not not only thumbnails so because this is going to scan the thumbnails only the content checks if the files used by the content post uh, 
you know, post pages and other post types. So we can check this content and the live content as well. So we have all these options. Further, we can use the advanced option like UI and logs. So thumbnails, hide thumbnails. So if you prefer not to see the thumbnails and the skip trash, uh, just in case, this will disable the trash and restore the related features and warning message. So these are some advanced settings like media buffers, post buffers, and uh, analytics buffer files. So I have set all these things and further we can even use this delete cleaner DB just in case if you have set or any particular thing and want to delete the DB that is coming from the media cleaner and uh, the DB will be restored. Not the complete DB is going to be deleted. It is just related to media cleaner. Okay. So uh, further we can check the logs and all. So now I am going to perform the task that is the cleaning activity of media files. So where we can perform the task, it is a very uh, good question because the things are not available on this dashboard. We have to go in the media section and we have the cleaner option here with this plugin. So what we can do, we have made the setting and we can select from the drop down what actually we want to enable to a scan and it is important to take the complete backup of database and the uploads directory before performing this task. It is really very important. Don't skip to take backup because just in case if you have any trouble with the media files or with your complete website, you can restore the same using the backup. Okay. So please be considerate. Don't blame media cleaner if it deleted too many uh, of your files. So it is totally uh, uh, at our risk. In fact, the user risk. So it is clearly main said here. So for now I have, uh, okay. So I wish to check. So I have already gone through all the tutorials. So my media library has 458 items. So let us scan this first of all. So media cleaner is here. I am going to scan the media library first of all and I am going to run the scan. Of course it is going to take time and we can have a coffee during the scan and it is going to dig down all the files that we can further remove or take further axles. Okay so it took around 22 minutes in scanning the complete files as per my selected parameters and I can see the results. So it is clearly saying there are 45 issue with your files arounding 0.81 MB. The trash contains double zero MB. Okay. So I can see issues files are here. Ignored is zero. Trash is zero. References that has been scanned. We can check here. So the content URL has been given here very clearly so that we may take our decision that actually we need to delete from our installation. So as I shown you, uh, my installation has 458 media items and after a scanning, I got this 45 media items as per my selected parameters as I shown you. So we can decide what actually we want to delete and the best idea uh, to run this scan is to judge the pages that you are actually going to use at your website delete all those pages that you are not going to use at your website so it is really very important so if we talk about the pages and the post even so this installation demo has 85 published pages. So of course these pages may use media items might be using multiple media items at so let us assume we are going to use only 10 15 pages in this installation and rest of pages we are not going to use. So why to keep these pages active first deactivate all those pages that you are not using check your website just in case you uh, deactivated the page or the unpublished the page that you are intended to use somehow. So just decide all pages, all post, all the area like testimonials, team members and the portfolio may be in this installation. Yeah, similarly, it can be different in your installation. And further, 
delete all those items that you are not going to use even try to delete all unnecessary thing that you can manually do then run this media scanner then result will be better because you have already deleted those things that you have already decided and the further machine and the scanning system can judge which is which are the further elements that you are not actually using even on live pieces so it is a good idea to run the scan when you have actual number of pages that you are going to use further we can take decision we can select all by default and we can simply delete all these issue items here the items having issue in a single click or you can uh, choose one by one by uh, checking the references of a scan so i am deleting all just to check whether it works fine so i have selected all and clicking on ok so it is going to delete the 45 media items okay so it is wonderful now we can refresh this page just to check 458 was earlier and now so number of media items it is extracting now i have only 413 media items so as 45 media items have been deleted successfully without any doubt so we can further check our website just in case if we have any trouble i mean any missing image we can restore from the database but it works fine so i'm just showing you just to confirm that every item at the website is working fine even after running the scan and deleting deleting the media items all good things are here and yes so we have done the perform performance activity i mean the cleaning media files successfully as i said you can change the media scan parameters as per your requirement as per your understanding with your website so the best idea to run the scan with the default settings and i can show you the screen again so this is meow apps media cleaner and in the media library scan you can simply uncheck all these items by default these remains and in the file system scan since you are not having uh, in the free version you can uncheck this media library is by default checked in the advanced sections you can uh, choose the relevant options and further you can go to the media section and for the cleaner options and rerun the scan just in case if you uh, have done some changes in the settings so you can run the scan again so it will bring uh, further more images just in case if it is uh, those images are having issue issue means those images are not being used so you can run a scan two three times as per your requirement and understanding and you can clean the media set using this plugin wonderfully so i believe this plugin is really going to help you in enhancing the performance of your website cleaning the unused media items so uh, as i said the plugin is available for free and even the paid version you can have after cleaning the media items uh, you can run the website and if you are having any issue you can restore from your backup that we have taken so test your website empty the trash and different types of issue may occur so it is very important so it is all information for you in the uh, links and that is coming from the media meoapps.com and you can have the free version pro version so i have shown you the optimal settings and the things that is available okay so i can show you we rerun the test and we have further more 40 items that we can delete so this is the way uh, that we can clean our media asset so in the first run what you have to do i am repeating just delete all the pages that you are not going to use delete all the post that even uh, additional things that might be in your installation like uh, we have in this installation testimonials portfolio team members so delete all those things that you are not uh, planning to use at your website pages post and all uh, other uh, extension pages run the scan with the default setting and then run the scan uh, with the change setting so if you are having the premium version you can run the file system setting so again 
we have this uh, file system scan option so we can run the file system scan after having the media scan and it may also bring some unused media items so it is uh, steps and these are the steps that you can follow for cleaning your media sets media library and you can make your website more performing now in the file system scan i found another 11 uh, items that can be deleted but yes i must tell you in the file system scan you can easily judge which file you can delete so uh, if the file don't have any image icon like this is custom css file we cannot delete this so we are going to select all just uncheck this and we can check the next page so this is also a file system so we can delete the selected items as well so it is wonderful to take a wide decision what actually you want to delete so now finally uh, i can refresh this page so initially it was 458 items and now we can see uh, now only 373 and after deleting the pages even you can run the uh, media cleaner uh, scan after completing your website because uh, once you complete your website you have only the active pages and you might have deleted all those pages that you are not using so you can run the scan and uh, that time as well in this manner you can clearly delete the unused media items and your website is going to have only necessary media files so again i'm showing you the site just to confirm it is working fine so in the next video i am going to show you uh, another way through which you can delete the unused assets so asset optimization everything at your installation is as what this website asset so how we can optimize the asset of our website coming in the next video don't skip to watch the coming video and i believe you are already a subscriber to this channel for and watching all the necessary video even exploring the themes plugin that you can use at your website let us meet in the next video till then goodbye keep learning thank you